Hello and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. This time we will go to the chore. That's all. Let's move. A creeper channels wire. Wire taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts. And still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Bayer claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him a grip of first so he can he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily apply oblige. But how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release a cripple without killing him, Wayner, Wayner told me to feed him a tonic made from paralyzer, whitey, and tempter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The joyer seems to be fertile grounds for this sort. I should then able, be able to extract its content with a proper tool. The vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts of distill it to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tempter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling Kyanak. I will have to address Bayer with this, as he will have to supply me with the host. Also, a proper, properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Ah, I see. Now I know the well's reason. And more tinder boxes. In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silence, silent cover before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped them, their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their father's places and they too will grow old and pass away. While I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. Anything else I should see? Nope. Let's continue to joy. This will probably light out soon. But let's see now. Fifteenth of August, eighteen thirty nine. 
The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Pick the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come! Please! I didn't do anything! Take the man. Cut the lines. Paint the man. Cut the lines! Please! The man cries. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. I will do whatever it takes. Well, we shall move forward. Once again, pause the game if you want to, I mean, pause the video if you want to read that. expect that to be honest are you going to start talking again The stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. 
In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eyes had ruptured and begun to leak. This is quite interesting. With its red lights and horrible monsters. It seems more um, bridges too. See much. It's quite a hard place to see anything. still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Interesting. Let's see then. The orb is here. But there must be something here too. The murderer's limbs were tied up, tied to the spokes of the wheel. 
They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent so the rope secured round his leg, stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. And once again a piece of orb. And now I will quit for this day so that I will have something for tomorrow. This has been Lollarbot playing Amnesia to Dark Descent. I hope you enjoyed it. And let's see next time, shall we? Bye bye!